Hello, on this video I'm going to show you how to translate and rotate an object. In this case we're going to do a cube. So I'm going to create a cube for now. And as soon as I create the cube I am also going to create a C sharp script. I'm going to call uh, move double click to open on more develop and on the update we're gonna use the transform dot rotate and the implementation we're gonna be using is the float 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 for X angle Y angle and Z angle so for the X angle I want to move it zero. I want to put an F to, to say it's a float. For the Y, I'm going to move 50 floats. And for the last one, I'm going to also move zero. And we're going to see what that does. So let's run this program. I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna go back to Unity and I'm gonna run. Now if you go to the scene you notice that nothing is moving, nothing is, is happening. The reason nothing is happening is because I did not add my script to my object. So I'm gonna do it now. To do that I'm gonna drag and drop over the cube. Now if I select cube and if I come to the inspector, I can see the object move right here. And if I play it, the object spins. The second thing we can do is to transform dot translate. And from this translate. I'm gonna have a small value, um, one float. Oh, also by the way, we're gonna be using this implementation, so X, Y, and Z. So for my X, I'm gonna have one float. For my Y, I'm gonna have zero floats, and my Z, I'm also gonna have zero floats. Now, just to see what it does without the rotate. I'm gonna comment out the rotates and I'm gonna run with the translate only. Save it and I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna change my layout to 2x3. Now doing so I can see my scene in my game. And I'm gonna zoom out a lot so I can see it moving and once I play we can see my cube moving. And it's still going. We rotate and then we moved. So if we use these two variables at the same time, the program is going to make my cube move and then rotate, move, rotate, move, rotate. And if that happens, my cube is gonna be is gonna move in a circle. So that's my cube moving on a circle. Quite fast. So let's slow down a little bit. So on my transform, I'm gonna put zero point one and on my rotate let's put a five. So I go back to Unity and I run it again. And now I can see my cube moving a little slower. Now it would be nice to change this the variables on the fly here. To do that, I am going to create two variables here, two public variables, very important public variables. So public float. Uh, rotate y 
and my other one is gonna be a public float translate x and I'm gonna replace these two variables on the values that we gave the rotate and the translate but before we do that we need to assign a value so the rot my rotate y is going to be exactly 5 float so 5 floats and my translate x is going to be 0 1 float now because I have these two variables now I can just replace the 5f with rotate y and I can replace also the 0 1 float with the translate translate x so we haven't changed anything as far as values is concerned we just create a public variable to represent these two values here so now let's go back to unity and run it again if you click on cube if you select cube and if you look right here on inspector you're gonna see a move script with two variables your rotate y and your translate x and if I change these values then the value gets changed on the fly and then the behavior of my cube changes so if I put 500 it moves even faster 